today one of our viewers told us his mom was lonely and needed some love so of course being the nice guy i am i gathered yee squad and a few random pedestrians to compete for her love hey yee fam i'm super excited to be here and i'm ready for my e-date let's go all right guys this is very simple this is going to be the first round all that's going to happen she's going to ask you guys two questions you're going to go one by one and at the end she's going to eliminate two of you so if you could meet anyone famous who is dead or alive who would it be and why first person i would think it was probably edp 445 <laughs> my inspiration i don't know i don't know who oh, that's oh he's a great guy you you would love to meet him one day i would uh i would say kanye west so i could carry out his ideals carry on the master race mine would be uh michael jackson i wanted to meet him when i was like five years old so i could sleep in a bed with you what all right, so mine's got to be uh, Gloria Gloria Steinem. Uh, she like she led the feminist movement throughout the you know 60s and 70s. Just love a good, strong, independent woman. My answer would probably be Pete Davidson. He would teach me how to treat a woman correct. I gotta say, Mia Khalifa because like low key, she's a great actress, and I want to treat her just like the person the people would treat her in her videos. I'm totally distracted in the, in the upper upper right. Who is in my uh... camera? Hello, Mrs. Uh, Midget Man. Nice to meet you, by the way, my lady. And um, the person I would like to meet in real life is Betty White. I feel like she's a very influential figure in my life. She basically was my mom. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with Betty White, as you can see on my hat. I do love milfs, and if you look up, you saw Betty White back in the day, you know, she was a very beautiful woman. Kind of reminds me of you, can't lie. Thank you, thank you. Next question. What is something that you've done that you think everyone can benefit from trying? I would say not hard drugs, but like, the soft ones? Alright, something that, that I've done that I think everyone can benefit from is just being the fucking goat, you know? Just being the best in general, because... I gotta say, uh, needle heroin? What I would do is be real hoops, because that's myself, and, uh... And yeah, that sounds thing. like someone else's answer. I'd have to say, number one thing that I've tried that everybody else should, you know, it's another easy answer, feminism. Yeah, I'm gonna go the opposite route, and I'm gonna say that you should watch the Andrew Tate videos. Yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah, you know, I was actually messing when I said that answer. I was actually messing around. <laughs> You know, if there's one thing that I feel like I can show to the youth and give to the world is I think I would teach others how to master manipulation and uh, gaslighting. I, I believe everyone should be going to the gym because there's a lot of aces in the world and they just got to switch up their whole life. All right, all right. So now you've heard everyone's answers. You have to eliminate two people. The feminist thing, like I'm very not, so I'm so sorry. So I have to say goodbye to the feminist thing. And then the gaslighting narcissism that has to go. Those are two immediate like goodbyes. Wait, wait, whoa. Wait, what is he doing? Dude. Gerald's hitting something right now. Hey, you haven't been answering your yeah! phone. Whoa, whoa. Where have you been? What is this? <laughs> oh, my feelings. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just on like a call with some of my friends right now. Who the fuck are these people? Wait, is that his girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. All right, hey, hey, listen, 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 listen. You have three minutes starting now. You have to talk to her, say whatever you want. Anything is on the table. Ready, set. Go. All right, Mrs. Midget Mom, I would like to start off this questionnaire by saying, what do you like to do for fun? Tell me about yourself. Um, I like running. I like singing. I love music. But oh. really, my job is to get to know about you, so same question back. Um, I like to listen to Playboy Cardi and Little Uzi Vert. I heard that you didn't like Little Uzi, and you know what? When we go on our dates, you know, I can put you on. I can, I can teach you the ways. Okay. No, I, I want to hear more about Sam, though. Yeah, I already low-key lost this. Sam, I want to know if that's your real hair. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm not actually like a dresser. I just did this because I got banned and uh, I like to make a positive impact on my friends and community. All right, that's no. it. Time's up. I actually adore you both. Greedy. I, I'm moving. I'm not moving you on to the next round. No! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> All right, Hello. you guys have three minutes. I'm nope. Gonna step forward and, and and take take the chance. Hello. What are you gonna bring to the table? I do YouTube, a bunch of stuff. I'm a content creator. I play video games. Uh. Um, yeah, you're terrible at this. Where do you see yourself in eight years? Uh, millionaire in my mansion, doing what I love. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I think I'm dying. So like. Give me your two best like um qualities about yourself. I'm a very romantic man. I know women like romantics. You know they like flowers. You know going on dates. But I believe in traditional values. You know I'm a man who likes to provide. You know. I super humble and nice. I'm a man of values. I'm a man of goals. I have a lot of goals. All right, Take time's every... up, bro. Okay. Goofy, if I'm gonna start a life with someone, I want them to be around with for a little while. So I have to eliminate you because you're not gonna be here. Wait, was that racially motivated? Yeah. I think it was racially motivated, but you know what? It's fine. It was not at all. Stop the cap.
Yeah. You have three minutes to riz her up. Go. Where do you see yourself in like eight to ten years? I'll be in Miami with the boys, Eastloth, you know, the rest of the E gang. You know, me, I'm going to become a real estate agent, become very, very rich. I'm going to make us like financially stable for the rest of our lives. Give me your top three qualities that you would bring to a relationship. I'm going to lock in. I'm not going to like ever leave, never switch up, none of that. Always got to be like doing stuff with each other. I, like we always got to have like a connection, you feel me? I would want, I would want faithful, family oriented, and I'd want to be able to grind with you. You gotta make it to the top together. Oh my gosh. You guys actually are like totally like equals, actually. I think the I love MILF's hat is hilarious though, so yeah! I'm gonna keep you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You have one minute and 30 seconds to talk to Mama Bear. Let's see what you can do, man. At the end of all these 1v1s, two people will get eliminated and there will be one man stated. I have a question for you. What is one thing that makes people stand out from each other? Well, I think what comes with age is a little bit of wisdom. Um, yeah. I'm also, I also have a lot of training. My background is in social work. So um, I have a master's degree in that. And that's all about communication and delivery and stuff. But authenticity, I think authenticity is important. As you get older, you rather have someone like not talk the talk. You rather see them be genuine and be authentic. I am a very big family guy. No, I want to, I want to learn more about the person. And I feel like family is a big part for that. For all right, all right, all right, all right, time's up. You're all out right. of here. Minute 30 seconds, starting. Did you, did you undo your shirt? No, of course not, what would I do? If you could go anywhere in the world for one weekend, where would you go? I haven't really traveled out of the U.S. at all. So oh. probably anywhere to experience new culture. Mm, I'd go to Thailand, they got a bunch of lady boys. Oh gosh. Is that how you want to spend your one minute and whatever let's thing go. on your e-date? Come on, oh let's go gosh. to Thailand. I'm saying we could go, we could go check it out, see what's popping. What do you do in your uh, spare time? I smoke a lot of weed, drink a lot of alcohol, and uh... That's about it. Alright, baller hoops. Hello. Uh, can you wait my Gwitty? I give you a 10 out of 10 for just being oh my goofy. God. Okay. Tell me more about yourself and like what you oh do on weekends. Uh, I do on weekends. Uh, I sit in my room. But that's no, that's all. I make videos. I take showers. Do you go jogging with your dog or take your dog walking? Uh, I, I take dogs walking. I actually have 10 like actual dogs. Get one. Hurry. Hold one. Oh, we got ours. All right, right time's up, man. I'm taking out of the car. <laughs> we can have the dogsy day. All right, this is it. The final round. She's just gonna eliminate you guys down to the last person whenever you're ready and tell us why you're eliminating them. Oh my gosh. All right. So I love MILFs, Mr. Sly, slick and sly. Yeah. <laughs> a minute and whatever, a minute and whatever alone. And you just totally blew, just smokes, smoke and mirrors. So I have to say goodbye to you. Too. What? I just more than that. Oh! <laughs> So oh, my final, final question though is Hoops, do you have a girlfriend? No, no, I don't. And, and Tyler, do you have a girlfriend? No. You just said you did on the e I was Because I was going to say, based on that, that, that piece right there of coming on here when you're already in a relationship and not getting previous permission would actually make Hoops the winner. No! 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 <laughs>